ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test today here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang with another season of teaching and learning here on K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition which will reveal our newest K-Check champion. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. This week's high scorer coming in with 210 points, Paolo is a 23-year-old chemistry student from UP Diliman. In his spare time, he loves to play board games and listening to K-pop groups like Stray Kids and Mamamoo. Yubel, with a score of 135 points, is a BS Business Administration student of UP Diliman. She spends her free time playing sports, watching theater productions, and reading books. She enjoys traveling both local and abroad. Bringing in 105 points is Jazz, a third-year civil engineering student at TUP Manila. Beyond the world of blueprints and structures, he finds joy in writing poetry and indulging in rom-coms and sitcoms. A harmonious blend of engineering precision and creative expression defines his journey. And rounding us out with a score of 130 points is Yeshua, a BS statistics student at UP Diliman. Her love of sleep serves to power her love of physical activities and sports. Her top artist in Spotify for 2023 is Keshi. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Next, we have Professor Glessi Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. And finally, Professor Ben Vallejo of the UP Institute of Environmental Science and Meteorology. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para di sayang ang effort. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. Let's begin. Question number one. In astronomy, what is the Latin name of the constellation the Archer, which is also the zodiac sign after Scorpio? Paulo. Sagittarius. Sagittarius or Sagittarius is correct. Key check. Question number two. In what European city can you find the Norwegian Parliament and Foreign Affairs Ministry of Norway building? Jubel. Norway. Norway is Malé. Paulo. Oslo. Oslo is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. Which English language song by the Korean boy band BTS reached number one in Billboard's Global 200 chart in 2021? Paolo. Butter. Butter is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What unit of length is about 39.37 inches? The correct answer is meter. Question number five. What is the common name of frozen carbon dioxide which is used for temporary refrigeration? Paolo. Dry ice. Dry ice is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What country's currency is officially called the renminbi? The correct answer is China. Question number seven. Which mythological hero is famous for his strength and was the subject of a 1997 Disney animated movie? Paolo. Hercules. Let me proceed. Animated movie that featured the song Go the Distance. The correct answer is Hercules K check. Question number eight. What river in Africa is the longest in the world? 
Paolo, Nile River. Nile River is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In what Southeast Asian country can you find the Angkor Wat Temple Complex? Paolo. Cambodia. Cambodia is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In mental math, what number is twice the product of 5 and 20? Yubel. 200. 200 is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. In December 2023, a magnitude 7.4 earthquake struck Surigao del Sur, causing massive damage to several towns. On what island can you find Surigao del Sur? Paolo. Surigao. Surigao is mali. Yubel. Mindanao. Mindanao is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. Which singer is the mother of Casey Concepcion? Jazz. Sharon Coneta. Sharon Coneta is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. Let's have a quick recap of their scores. We have Paolo with 70 points. Yubel with 20 points. Jazz with 10 points. And Yeshua, kaya pang humabol sa mga susunod nating rounds. We're midway in the competition at susunod na ang round two sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Points Rika po muna tayo. Paolo is leading with 70 points, followed by Yubel with 20 points, Jazz with 10 points, and Yeshua, pwede pang humabol sa mga next rounds. And now, it's time for round two. So concentrate, strategize, and go for those points. As always, correct answers earn you 20 points each, but incorrect answers cost you 10 points each. Let's begin. Question number one. Nirvana is believed to be attainable only with the elimination of all greed, hatred, and ignorance within a person. In which religion is the goal to become enlightened and reach Nirvana? Paolo. Buddhism. Buddhism is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Which Serbian-American inventor developed the alternating current power system? Paolo? Uh, Nikola Tesla. Let me complete the question. And was granted more than 100 US patents. The correct answer is Nikola Tesla. K check. Question number three. Saigon is the former name of Ho Chi Minh City, which is located in what Asian country? Yobel. Vietnam. Vietnam is correct. K check. Question number four. What is the name of the accumulated waste of seabirds or bats that is used as, as fertilizer? The correct answer is guano. Question number five. Who led China and was the chairman of the Chinese Communist Party from 1949 to 1976? The correct answer is Mao Zedong. Question number six. What team won the 2021 NBA championship? Yeshua. Lakers. Lakers is Malay. Let me proceed with the question. What team won the 2021 NBA championship behind the great performance of Yanis Antetokounmpo? Yobel. Spurs. Spurs is mali. The correct answer is Milwaukee or Bucks. Question number seven. In Norse mythology, he is a cunning trickster. Paolo. Loki. Let me proceed with the question. 
He is a cunning trickster who had the ability to change his shape and sex. Who is this god of discord and mischief? The correct answer is Loki. Okay, check. Question number eight. What quiz show did Alex Trebek host from 1984? Paolo. Um, Jeopardy. Let me proceed with the question. 1984 until he passed away in 2020. Jeopardy or Jeopardy is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What range in South America is the longest chain of mountains in the world and includes many of the highest peaks in the Western and Southern Hemispheres? The correct answer is Andes. Question number 10. In music, what do you call a sign that indicates the name and pitch of the notes on the staff to which it is prefixed like treble or bass? Your bell. Clef. Clef is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. As of December 2023, the richest person in the world is the South African CEO of electric car company Tesla, worth an estimated 245 billion US dollars. Who is he? Yes, what? Elon Musk. Elon Musk is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. From the Greek words for loving and mankind, what do you call a person who gives money or gifts to charities? Paolo. Donor. Donor is male. Anyone can steal. Yubel. Philanthropist. Philanthropist is correct. K check. And that ends round two. Let's do a points recap. Paolo is leading with 140 points. Followed by Yubel with 70 points. Jazz and Yeshua have 10 points each. Our ultimate Pagalingan round is up next here on K Check. Welcome back everyone. Recap muna tayo ng points. Paolo is leading with 140 points. Yubel has 70 points. Samantala si Jazz at si Yeshua naman ay may 10 points each. At kayang-kaya nyo ba humabol sa susunod na round dahil 360 points ang buong total ng lahat ng mga questions natin. The race to finish on top continues with our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. The end of this round will reveal our daily winner. Here, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Good luck and let's begin. Question number one will come from Prof. Neil. Pag-usapan natin ang Philippine political geography. What city serves as the regional center of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. A. Cotabato, B. Coronadal, C. Holo, D. Marawi, E. Takuro. Yubel. D. Marawi. Mali. Bagamat ang lungsod na ito ay nasa Mindanao, ang lingua franca rito ay Tagalog. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Cotabato. Thank you. Prof. Lessie, go ahead. Usapang kwentuhan. Lola Basyang was popular as the children's favorite storyteller. Sino si Lola Basyang sa totoong buhay? A. Severino Reyes. Yobel. A. Severino Reyes. B. Howie Severino. C. Severino Montano. D. Severino Magdamag. 
and E. Severino Torres. The correct answer is A. Severino Reyes. K. Check. Prof. Ben, next question please. Okay, this time on invertebrate zoology. The shedding of the shells of arthropods is scientifically called what? A. Molting B. Metamorphosis C. Ex ex disease D. Instar replacement and E. Calcification Yobel A. Molting Mali, not correct Paolo B. Metamorphosis And also not correct <laughs> Yeshua. E. Calcification. Uh, wrong also. Jazz. B. Instar replacement. Uh, also wrong. Mali. <laughs> <laughs> Wala pong pinalad sa round na ito. <laughs> okay. The correct answer is C. Egg disease. This is actually caused by hormonal changes in your insects and crabs and other arthropods that lead to the uh, shedding of their of the shells. Like outer Alain skeleton. <laughs> Walang pinalad sa inyo. Okay, next, Prof. Neil. Okay, ang sunod na tanong ay mula o para sa Asian history. Ano ang lahing namuno sa huling dinastiya sa China? A. Han B. Koreano C. Manchu D. Mongol E. Chino Ang revolusyon ni Sun Yat-sen ang nagpabagsak sa huling dinastiya ng China na pinumunuan ng lahing ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Manchu. Prof. Lesson. Okay, popular culture. Ano ang unang radio drama sa Pilipinas? Letter A, gulong ng palad. Letter B, gulong ng jeep. Letter C, gulong ni Goryo. Letter D, gulong-gulong. And E, gulong ng ikot. Yeshua. Letter A, gulong ng palad. The correct answer is gulong ng palad. Letter A, 1942 ito isinagawa. K-check. Thank you. Prof. Ben, go ahead. This time, we're going to deal with how hot and cold things are, okay? At what temperature are Celsius and Fahrenheit scales are equal? A. 0 B. 32 C. Negative 40 D. 112 and E. 100 Yobel B. 32 uh, Mali, not, not correct. Yeshua. C, negative 40. That's correct, okay? The, the scales are equal at negative 40. So, K-check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, back to you. Southeast Asian history. Which of the following is a key feature of the Neolithic period in Southeast Asia? A, ascendancy of patriarchal orientation. B, building of tattoo ships and rajanates. C. Domestication of chickens and pigs. D. Emergence of farming communities focused on corn production. E. None of the above. Jazz. D. Emergence of farming communities focused on corn production. Bale. Paulo. E. None of the above. Bale. Bukod sa tamang sagot sa tanong na ito, ang paglitaw ng agrikultura ay isa pang katangian ng panahong neolitiko sa TSA. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, domestication of chickens and pigs. Thank you. Prof. Glessy, go ahead. Okay. Usapang music. Sino ang nag-compose ng sikat na kundiman na bituwing marikit Nasaan ka irog at mutya ng pasig? Letter A, Nicanor Abelardo. Letter B, 
Nicanor Reyes. Letter C, Nicanor Tiongson. Letter D, Nicanor Sepulveda. And letter E, Nicanor Perlas. Paolo, A, Nicanor Abelardo. Ang tamang sagot ay A, Nicanor Abelardo. K, check. Prof. Ben, go ahead. A, what radioactive element did Madame Marie Curie discover? A, sodium. B, radon. C, radium. Paolo, C, radium. D, uranium. And E, plutonium. The correct answer is radium. So, K, check. Now we're off to our last set of questions for this round. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Philippine political history. Ano ang tawag sa institusyon na gumagawa ng batas nung panahon ng diktadurang Marcos? A. Batasang Pambansa B. Congress of the Philippines C. Parliament D. Philippine Assembly E. Philippine Commission Matapos pinasara ni Pangulong Marcos ang legislatura noong 1972, binalik niya ito noong 1978 at tumagal ito noong 1986. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, batasang pambansa. Thank you. Prof. Lessie, go ahead. Oh, sige, usapang pagkain. <laughs> hey. Sino ang nag-imbento ng palayok oven at banana ketchup. Letter E, Maria Alonzo. Letter B, Maria Dizon. Letter C, Maria Orosa. Letter D, Maria Cafra. Letter E, Maria Erbosa. Paulo, C, Maria Orosa. Ang tamang sagot, ay letter C, Maria Orosa. K, check. After our last question, Prof. Ben, go ahead. Okay, uh, we probably experienced this uh, one, at least once in our life. No? Uh, what is phenopalatine ganglion neuralgia the scientific term for? A, back pain. B, headache. C, brain freeze. D, Toothache and E. Migraine. Yeshua. C. Brain freeze. That is correct. Okay. Uh, Sphenopalatine ganglionalia is about brain freeze. The nerves are near the palate. And so, eating ice cream sends the pain to the brain. <laughs> okay. So, K-check. Thank you so much. And that's it for K-check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Paolo, our K-Check Weekly winner with 200 points. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, so we'll see Paolo again in the semifinals when he competes with our other weekly winners. Of course, thank you to Yubel, to Jazz, and to Yeshua for joining us. And to our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Glessy, and Professor Ben. Once again, I am Jules Giang. Join us again on Monday for another Gay Check.